Hey everybody, got our bird here. It's Tuesday again, so that means. <laughs> no storage plate. Talk. That's Jag Talk from now on. Nudity on slick paper. <laughs> means he took a hit right before that. <laughs> Which means we're back in the 2020s. Yay. And fuck, dude. So glad we're back. Dude, as soon as I got back to the 2020s, I know we have made a very conscious decision not to bitch about work and not to bitch as much about politics and whatever else. But I do have two fucking things to talk about before we get this episode started. Right on. One, today at work, we're getting our ass fucking kicked, right? About one o'clock. We close on two, at two on Sundays. At like one o'clock, man, fucking fire alarm starts going off. Loud as fuck. And I was like, I even had to pull, like do a, shoot, eh, shoot a short video just to show him I'm not putting it up there because those Why people didn't, these people didn't give permission to be on our oh, shit. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Right? So there's this fire alarm going off and these motherfuckers just these fat fucking rednecks just not moving. Yeah. Yeah. Just there wasn't exactly. a fire, the, but no. we just kept getting fucking orders, and they're sitting there, and this alarm is loud, loud as, as shit. fuck, and they're just like, yum, 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 and, and we keep getting orders, and we keep getting orders, and we keep getting orders, and all this stuff, like, one dude, table canceled their orders. We knew alarm. there wasn't a fire. A fi yeah, but a fire alarm but, is going yeah. off, and you react... You don't react at all. We, we paid for this. Yeah, yeah, I, no. I, I got you. Fucking fire, the flames are licking your back. But you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, say they're patting your arm. He's like, my fork. So, like, yeah, this fire alarm fire. went off for, like, 20 fucking minutes. And these people, like, just kept fucking just eating that shit and was loud, ordering dude. and eating and ordering. and That shit was loud. I'm sorry, but, like, 20 <laughs> minutes? I'm sorry. I'd have to be like, look, I gotta go. I can't. At one Can point, you turn the, that off. Or at one point, no. Are we on fire? The, no, like the fi it's like the alarm company has to turn it off and shit, and the fire company had to come, so the fire company did come, and they're like, well, because like the whole fire system is throughout the whole entire plaza, because it's one of those plazas where everything's built into each other. I just love that everybody's so, eating. Yeah, but the like fire company, like the whole plaza, so the fire company comes and is like, yeah, it's coming from, like, it's, or, it, 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 the origin of it was here. Yeah. And we're like, nah, we're like, we it's, if we would have pulled the two in the back, the fucking hood, the fucking fire extinguishers would have came on there, it just would have been fucking chaos and covered in, you know, that chemical fucking shit. Why not? I would have served food like that with the shit on it. They wouldn't have minded. I mean, you could probably serve them sauteed raccoon asshole and they'd be like, can I have seconds? So the fire company figured out it was, it was the, I, uh, I can't talk, man. Yeah, really. That well, it's been it a rough fucking, day. Yeah. So, but it came from like, <laughs> In between the two doors, there's a smoke detector, and a smoke detector went off. So somebody was either being an asshole and smoking in, in the vestibule or yeah. whatever the fuck, or somebody, like, set it off on purpose. What I don't know. vestibule? I don't know. That's thing in between the first set of glass doors. You come in in every restaurant into the second oh, oh, set yeah, of glass yeah, yeah. doors okay, okay. that every restaurant has. I don't know why restaurants, why it's like that. I, I guess maybe so, like, it's supposed to be, like, maybe to keep bugs or something out. Like, you know, like, trapped in between, you know, one door would close before you go in the other one, I guess. I don't fucking know. It does not matter. Let's but that's, talk about this poop. No, we still gotta talk about my second 2020 thing, whatever. What? A friend of a friend. I won't even go into more details than that, but a friend of a friend that I haven't, that I barely, I can't even call him a friend of a friend. Yeah, I, smoked, you know, I smoked yeah. with the dude like four times like ten years ago, if not more than ten years ago. And like he knows me and Bird, like, you know, and all this shit. So like, yeah, out of like the blue, from nowhere, I start getting fucking Facebook messages from this dude. Like crazy, I mean, he's, he went off the QAnon craziness like years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I just started getting all these crazy messages saying about uh, calling us idiots because he even got name checked in it as well. Yeah. He's like, you know, just wait, the, the Hunter Biden fucking child sex film's coming out soon. Sex and, film. Uh, 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 I'm like, just like the P tape, huh? Just like the yeah. Trump P tape that didn't exist. He's like, how could you vote for Biden? And I was like, one, dude, how does dude even know that's who I voted for? I mean, obviously, I wasn't voting for fucking Trump. But, yeah. you know, but it's like, hey, hey, maybe I wasted my vote on some kind of third party fucking person. You don't fucking yeah, know that. Like, maybe I didn't vote at all. I don't know. What 
now you know. Yeah. Uh, you assume a lot, you know. <laughs> yeah. But then, yeah, just saying about, like, you know, how could you vote for this fucking, you know, person with a child molester? I was like, wait a minute, but didn't... Never mind. No. Can't even go in there, dude. No. Look, look I mean, look. I'm, it's, I'm it's, not. Because... The, <laughs> It's like coming back get, to the 2020 you stuff. You get stuck in this this back and forth thing, but you know, look, they've mastered the the projectionist thing. Whatever the master has been accused of, they turn around and they accuse whoever, you know. And the master doesn't like, you know. So you know, I'm I'm thinking. Repeat everything we, he says. Should this just be outtakes? Should we just start over completely and just no no just keep going? It's fine. We've explained it what we wanted to explain, <laughs> and now we're on to our video. Yay! Look! Dot, dot, dot. Signal! Dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. Maneuver. maneuver! Dot, dot, dot. No, no more Fuck. dot, dot, dot. Oh, <laughs> it is a <clears throat> 60s BSA slash <laughs> Triumph motorcycle safety film oh, thing. Shit. Yeah, and like we've. Well, like, it throws you off because you see the modern motorcycle. You're like, all right, that's not. Yeah, this because that's what this other channel that's taking kind well taking credit for that for thing. this. They kind of, but yeah. it just you know what I mean, putting it on there. Yeah, well, whatever, whatever. It whatever. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We cut to meet Tom, and hey, Tom, Tom is a little kid on a tricycle. This is Tom. Tom has a friend who was always inclined to be reckless. And then Tom grows up pretty fucking fast. Well, yeah, they grow up and their bikes grow. Oh, wait, Tom had a friend first. Right. And then they they both grow up and their bikes grow up all fast until right. they're both on motorcycles. And their friend grows up to be Ralphie's little brother Randy from fucking Christmas Day. So, yeah, Tom's friend is careless. But the careless driving of Tom's friend didn't improve. If anything, it seemed to get worse. Or Ralphie, in some instances, he looks like him. And he's tearing through the fucking woods. I don't know why you... <laughs> why are you... <laughs> I don't know. Is that the noise that fucking motorcycles make? I haven't been around very motorcycles, have you? <laughs> Actually, I have, but yeah. It sound like guns. I know, I'm just... An idiot. And then they got really shitty engines as a... <laughs> Triumph. <laughs> But I think that was, that wasn't it. That, that dude had a try. I think they both did. I think that was who made this video. I'm not sure. Because motherfuckers be rushing everywhere. He was always rushing here and there with as much speed and noise as possible. He'd forgotten he was now riding this and not that. Who be rushing? Tom's friend be rushing. Oh, yeah, right, right. I right. mean, he's not rushing, but he's rushing. Rushing. And, you know, now they end up, since they're grown up, they work at the same factory. They now both work at the same factory, which has a time clock and a work steeper. Tom being the responsible one, kind of like Goofus and Gallant. Tom is the Gallant. He leaves early. Yeah. Tom leaves for work reasonably early. He likes to get a newspaper on the way. And there's usually quite a bit of traffic about this time in the morning. Because Tom... How have you established at this point? He's the responsible one. Yeah, he's the gallant from the Goofus and Gallant. Whatever. And so he signals With in his night gloves and shit on that. and that. He fucking... Goes, night of the round table. Tom is a boo. And then we see Tom's friend here, which I, they just call him Tom's friend. Yeah, I'm just going to call him Goofus from now on. We see Goofus Randy. getting up in the morning and he has kids' pajamas on. He looked out the window, but when he did look out the window, he did kind of look like Ralphie. You know, that's why I was looking at him. He's like, like, wow! When he looked out, he saw the snow for the first time. Tom has pride. Tom takes a pride in his bike and in his riding. Tom's going to get his arm fucking taken off, you know, because he puts it way the fuck out there. Well, that's the way you're supposed to. Oh, whatever. I'm just saying. And then Tom passes a fucking furniture lorry. <laughs> Yeah, but he does it very, you know, proper. In time, he's, you know, because there's rules and stuff. Sure you don't cut off the other door. You know, you know, he's like, if you do, make sure you stop apologizing over him some tea. Watch him overtake this furniture van. First, he checks it's okay to pull out. Gives a clear signal. Sees the road is clear ahead. Checks again behind and passes. Not too close. The van might pull out. Then checks that he can move back into his correct position without cutting in on the vehicle he's passed. Never overtake unless you know you can do so without danger to yourself or others. Those are all the steps and rules and stuff. Well, not, except for the part I added. <laughs> so now we see Goofus here rushing through breakfast. Right. Now, you can't do this safely and correctly if you're always late and have this on your mind. 
but that's Tom's friend. Always late and always in a hurry. No time for the full English. Hell no. <laughs> no, he he just he kind of like he just dipped his fucking bread in the marmalade or whatever the fuck that was. Marmite, you never know. Marmite, marmite. Yeah. The fuck is marmite? You know what Marmite is. Is that yeast extract stuff? Oh shit. Right. Do you want me to go to the house? You can try no, it. No, I don't want that. I have it in the clock cupboard right now. You don't need that. Come on, you can have a little nibble nibble. <laughs> Get into the whole Britishness of it. Yo, I'm, I'm, Since we talked already, we know we're going to end up doing fucking the Lulu's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. I don't like spat. He grabs his bike. Flying out of the house, he grabs his bike. Tom, meanwhile, is in good time and unhurried. Quite unlike his friend, who is in far too much of a hurry. And tears the fuck off. Yeah. Taking chances Going along. Twenty-five. Taking chances along the way. To get there on time, he starts to take chances, and so becomes a menace on the road. So it doesn't look like he reaches much of you know what you consider maximum speed. I mean, compared to Tom, he's fucking eighty-eight miles an hour, man. The roads you travel on each day become very familiar. You think you know just what traffic to expect at every junction. This can be very dangerous. It's the unexpected that causes accidents. So, burp talking. We cut to yeah. So we we cut to Tom. I just love how we used to take that out back in the day. Nowadays we just fucking let it fucking roll. Let it roll. Let the good times roll. So we cut to Tom's. Tom at a crossroad. There's rules and steps and all that shit here too. Tom approaching a crossroad always takes the same precautions. Approaching in the normal position well to the left of the road, he checks oncoming traffic. Looks behind, then gives a clear signal that he intends to slow down or stop. He slows down, looks right, left and right again. Never rely on signals given by anyone except a policeman. Satisfied the road is clear, he accelerates and clears the crossing as quickly as possible. Right, there's always ruse. Goof is here, he's still speeding along. Doesn't he wreck at one point? Well, that's way later. He fucking hit something. So we cut to Tom here at a T-junction. There's sin rules and whatnot. At this T-junction, Tom turns left, so he makes nearly the same maneuver as before. Starting well before the junction, he checks behind. Changes down and reduces speed, then clearly signals his intention. When he reaches the junction, he looks right, left and right again, giving way to the lady in a hurry. See how Tom kept well to the left of the road before and after making the turning. Hit the junction, watch your fountain, Tom gonna stop and have dumb tea. <laughs> Friends, fucking Goofus is just still speeding along. Going 35. But he takes a shortcut. Oh, that piece of shit. He tries a shortcut, he knows. But because of his speed and careless use of his brakes, it takes him much longer. Almost Rex. Fuck him. Because, well, there's reasons why. Because of the brakes and stuff. Right. Well, he's, he didn't apply both brakes. Yeah. He, the one. he just did the back brake and he yeah. slid. No, I didn't slid. Did the front. No, he, didn't no. The front. he did the front. He would have flew the fuck over it. Right. I know I'm right, because I know what the fuck he said. I know how bikes work like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your badass hasn't been on a bike for a minute. Yeah, but I had a fucking... Yeah, but I had a fucking shitty dirt bike when I was a shitty kid. <laughs> oh... So, where were we at, right? When I was a shitty kid. Don't beat yourself up, man. You weren't that bad. I'm sure. <laughs> so, we cut, much worse. we cut to Tom at a crossroads. <laughs> and, of course, steps and rules and done right. Well before the junction, Tom checks the following traffic. The road is clear, so he signals, I intend to move out or turn right. He then changes down and reduces speed, keeping to a position slightly left of the center of the road. Looks the rear again and gives a clear signal I intend to turn right. Reduces speed, checks oncoming traffic and pedestrians. The road is now clear. Notice the wide curve he makes, not cutting across the corner. Then he takes up his new position well to the left of the road. Makes a clear signal he intends to slow down and stop. Rules! You remember them? When you were a piece of shit, shitty kid. <laughs> He finally gets to the shop, goes in, gets himself a paper. Yeah, but dude, I love the the, the I love the old man Pappy security guard. It kept Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Whatever that <laughs> work at the same factory. Yeah, it yeah, kept yeah. Up, like, what's he gonna do? Come out the booth and whoop your ass. <laughs> 
What, you two minutes late? Now you face me. <laughs> oh no, Pappy Popeye. Tom <laughs> sets off safely, and we get the slogan, of course, look, signal, and maneuver. maneuver. Yes, and leap, leap, leap. <laughs> there was no Lulu Lulu's with us. Dude, it's sad. I know. Dude, the, we, the, I wanted a Lou in there. Oh, but dude, this is sad because it was like we... We went from just, you know, being respectful enough, calling the actual Vidius, you know, because that's what it is, and Davies and all that stuff. We, now we just refer to it as the Lulus. We're going to do the Lulus. We're going to watch the Lulus. I like the leaves. The big and the big poop. Leap, leap. Oh, the shit. two that are left are not much lose. I know, it's not. Because the next one's... I want the ones... Not much happens and it. Uh, it's going to be tomorrow's episode, so if you can be prepared to watch some kind of videos tomorrow. I want Lulu Pacino and Lulu fucking... Uh, yeah. I want, uh, you know, Whoopi. And then the... Yeah. I missed that. And then the one after that, the final Vidious one, is that it was filmed in like 2012, so I don't know how many Lulus we've get uh, in that one. Are we done with Tom? No! <laughs> we just started talking about Lulus. Oh, shit. We'll so, Tom. Goofus is still speeding around. I thought he died already. Tom arrives at work. As Tom arrives at the factory, his friend is tearing along full of bravado. He'll just make it again. Now, I know this is a Safely. proper English, you know, film, and it's not going to show anything like blood. I was like, but I was kind of hoping for something. Well, because, yeah, Goofus here, he fucking comes speeding in and wrecks. Watch out! And I'd love the people all... <laughs> Dude, the, I love it. Like, like Sid Caesar came in there and looked at him. Yeah, and then he came out just hobbling around. Well, yeah, we could no, we cut to Tom picking him up from the hospital. Right. Tom still has a friend, well, just, but his friend hasn't a bike anymore, just a summons for careless driving. He was outside the hospital. Right, right. He came out with that stupid look on his face. Yeah, and then we learned. Like, I'm gonna get a better class of friend. Well, we learned because Tom has a new friend. After Tom passed his test, he made a new friend who is quite an improvement. He does. A woman now. And then this fucking channel that decided to take this and put it on their own channel with their own intro decides to put over top of the end of this their Patreon information. Yeah. So I guess if you want to donate to them, have fucking at it. Yeah, you can do that if you want it. Why not? <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, yeah. It's like, like, yeah, whatever. I was like, I can't say shit because what do we do? We straight up just fucking take. We're like, we're taking this yeah, and we, we're talking about we it. We take, take, take. We never give anything back. Well, we're not very good givers. We're yeah, I'm sure our women's would say that definitely. They would definitely vouch. On that note, for Gutter <laughs> Bird, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, stand by, yo, man. I can't believe I called it, man. What? That we're doing fucking Lulu's. They were doing videos tomorrow. I love it. You're like, no, I will not call them loose. <laughs> <laughs> leap, leap, leap. You have to. You can't help it, dude. But yeah, I can't like, believe I called it, dude. I said, short, Sylvester we, Stallone. Link, dude, remember, right I, I was like, dude, we're going to have Trish pick him. And then France. we're going to fucking end up, we're going to have Trish pick him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, we're not. We're just going to come back and do lose. <laughs> and that's what we're fucking doing. I love but I do want to finish oh. videos off, though, oh. man. It's like, I really, really, really want to finish Vidius off, and so it's just so we can be like, we have completely reviewed every fucking movie they have made. And I loved every fucking one of them. No matter all the shit be fucking said, that we said, I love every fucking bit of those fucking things, man. Maybe awesome. a little too much. Eh, I've loved other things more. Pleasured yourself to the lose. Well, dude, I just, just sit there and I'll just like I'll get that mental picture of like Welsh Dennis Franz and the fucking you know whoopee fucking chick just going at it. Burrow, 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 burrow. And I just sit there and I just go to town on myself, dude. I just beat myself. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's all right. We got it. <laughs> I was wondering how far I was gonna go there, man. I was just gonna like just keep going I and get like grosser that. and grosser I like and grosser. That myself. Every dude, time I, really I can't... think about lose, I hit myself. Dude, I really can't believe that we're still here, still doing this. 
for the fact of that, like, I'm surprised, not us still you doing waiting it. waiting for YouTube to cancel us. Yes! Dude, for the, the YouTube landscape now, dude, almost everybody's all like, well, no, we can't say anything. No, we well, can't no, we show can't anything. Say anything. So we're just going to be blah, blah, not us. Even if we wanted to change, we'd still end up just being a horrible people like we are in we're real not life. horrible. We're just <laughs> not willing to fall by their roots. <laughs> but speaking of that, a decade, man. On June 19th, 2022, <laughs> if the world makes it, yes. If we make it and the world makes it. On June 19th, 2022 will be exactly the 10-year anniversary of the release of fucking our very first worst, worst movies on Netflix. Yeah. Two-Headed Shark Attack. Cleveland, are you ready to run? 10 fucking years of doing this for no reason but our own... Whatever the fuck this is, and for y'all motherfuckers, craziness. So I'm thinking we need to do something for that month of June. You know, and I could I could say people are like, you motherfuckers ain't gonna do shit. Oh, they know that. Which is that's about eighty percent chance that we're not gonna do shit. No. But I think we should do something like maybe should we do um, two headed shark attack and do like a special whole like do do for our worst Ooh. movies, not for happy crap tastic, but for worst Ooh. movies, do like. The month of June be like, I don't know, something kind of special. I don't know what yet. We still have a little bit of time before that happens. I do have Two-Headed Shark Attack already downloaded. Oh, yeah, with Brooke Hogan's giant chin. Yeah. Why not? I've had it downloaded for a long time, and I was holding it off for a special fucking occasion. Well, that would be special. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we could re-review that, because I don't remember fuck all about it, besides Carmen Electra's um, leathery skin. That's about all I really oh, remember. Oh, and McConnell's brother. Mm. The, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck was his name? Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. Wait, no, Jerry O'Connell, Charlie O'Connell, right? Oh, Charlie O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell was the, the... Yeah, the famous, famous one. one. Right, right. Charlie's the loser fuck. <laughs> that's not... Yeah. yeah. That's not fair. That's not nice. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do something. I don't know what, but we have to do something for that month. I don't want to do, like, Shark Month. <laughs> no, what the hell? But I also don't want to just re-review thing. I don't know if I'd be able to find anything we did on Netflix on... I mean, I guess we could do Seaver. Live, we'll do a live event of watching Shark uh, Two-Edged Shark Attack with everyone. I don't have that capability uh, with my shitty laptop. Well, don't you suck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the only way we could do live thing is over the phone, and we'd have to be like, all right, everybody, we're doing start your Zoom movie call. right now. Yeah, we're all doing a Zoom call right now. I mean... Maybe. I mean... What day of the week is June 19th on? I have no idea. Cause, I mean, I could. Oh, I'm, this probably won't happen. So don't get your fucking hopes up, people. Um, June nineteenth is a fucking Sunday. That's Father's Day. So I assume you're probably gonna film on that Saturday. Or since you're like a father, kids and wives don't care, so you're just gonna come over anyway. Yeah, we're just like, gonna film. We're gonna get our ass our asses <laughs> hit at work. Both of us, so we're just gonna, yeah. Pretty much. That's probably right. what's gonna happen. Nobody really cares about, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, maybe no, no. Maybe now. I was like, maybe we could do like a watch party or something on Discord. Do like, well, I know we haven't done one in a very long time, but do it with like two headed shark attack. No, because I want to do that as an episode. I don't want to do it for just, like, fucking five people on Discord. I want to do it for, like, an actual oh, episode. Discord. Like, well, if you give... We, no if, offense. If we give everybody, like... I love all the people that are yeah, on Discord. They're give, fucking awesome people. If, if we give everybody three months in advance, or, or well, how many months away is it, you know, advance, uh, maybe it'll show up. For We'd me. have, like, ten people. <laughs> We'd have all the awesome people like Patrick and Jason and all that shit. I'm sure Skull and stuff would be there, and I'm sure Laramie would come back to Discord for that. Probably Luke and all that shit, but... I meant for this. We mean for... The, we can't do a live thing that way. No. Because, one, 
we probably, you know, might be copyright problems, and two, I don't have the capabilities with my 10-year-old laptop. Yeah. <laughs> or however long it is, 8-year-old laptop or whatever. And I'm still rambling because I still got half a beer, and you know, my stance on I'd rather finish a beer up here while rambling. So, anything going on there? No. <coughs> you fuck. <laughs> No, nothing. Same poop <laughs> as, as before. As every other time. Yeah. It's just more poop on top of more poop. <laughs> I have been exceptionally proud of us over these last couple weeks in the 50s, and hopefully from this point out, where we're going to like make an actual, like, you know, conscious decision, both of us to, like, you know, Kind of light the fuck up some. Oh, yeah, right. You know, we're, we're just like, you know, the some. I mean, we're still miserable fuckers, but at least trying to, like, you know, yeah. make this more of a fucking escape act. You know? Because we need an escape, man. <laughs> and this is it. I need a front on the bottom. This is it. This is it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yep, unfortunately. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. when I think everybody, you know, it just seems like almost like society in general is getting tired of the 15 minute of fame assholes that keep popping up. And I think people are just done. I mean, look how quick those island boys disappeared. They disappeared faster than a fucking turd flushed down a toilet. They, they've never even appeared in my radar besides, oh, like... Oh, they almost did, mm. but then I think collectively... I heard a couple, like, like, two know, references to them. Done. I think we're done with all this. I think we're, we're good. Thank you, Jake, Paul, and Logan. You ruined it for every future person ever. Like, nobody wants to see Flash in the Pan fuck faces like you anymore. You know, maybe we shouldn't be handing off the ball of celebrity to just whatever dingle dong fuck face out there because they're fucking stupid. And they do and say fucking stupid things like me and you. I would never trust me and you to have yeah, fuck any no. fun. I don't want to be out there nationally because I, I don't want to fucking influence Dude, we're, we're out there globally. Whatever. I don't want to I don't want to <laughs> influence anybody to do nothing to anything, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. I'm like, just listen to me ramble and shit, and remember, it's all bullshit and crap and poop, and you don't have to sit there and go, oh, I should take this literally. <laughs> no! <laughs> nothing! It's all fucking poop! Everything anybody says. You know, I could have a billion dollars and a, a fucking billion subscribers on Spotify, and it would still be poop! It wouldn't be smattered with a history of the N-word, but it'd just be poop! <laughs> You got that, Joe? You can, fucking can, al cunt? can always take that as like you know, as, as like you know, there's solace in that that we, no matter how fucking back you could go <laughs> in any of our stuff, you will never hear us say that fucking word one fucking time. No, of course not. No, I'm saying, but we can take solace in that. Be like, yeah, well, motherfuckers, yeah. <laughs> we have to be doing fucking nowadays, shit. Nowadays, like, yeah, nowadays, it's two white guys. Yeah. Like, we can take solace in the fact that we're not like all the other white guys. <laughs> so I was like, dude, we've been making shitty videos for like 20 years, man. Mm. And then not in one of them. Not one. Yeah. Look at us. <laughs> We're better than fucking Joe Rogan. We're better than half of these fucking motherfuckers out there right now. That's right. At least on that front. On that front. But other than that, probably not. <laughs> I mean, they beat us and everything else. What is he? Who? This, this is not the, I mean, the conversation we don't need to fucking have. It's just like, dude, what's the, what's the fucking use? And what's the good of even using it in joke form? What? The N one? Yeah. Well, I mean, if. Uh, for what? For like Rogan or anybody else, like any random white dude. There's no reason that you even need to fucking say it. Yeah, but that's what I said last time. I know, they but I'm just saying. What context? It's just the fact that you fucking said it. Yeah. You know, he was sitting there trying to justify like, well, it's not the, it's, it's a different context. It's not the, uh, but, oh, but, 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 I, I, nobody fucking cares. You're a bald fucking white guy. They don't <laughs> want fucking white. They don't want you or anybody else saying it. You know? Like yeah. I don't give a fuck who says it. 
I honestly don't like hearing it either. Yeah, you know? fuck no. And it's like, dude, that's what's great. It's like, yeah, somebody can go back and scour. Because most of our, almost all of our public access stuff is on YouTube as well. They can scour every second of our videos. And I have no fear what-so-fucking-ever. Well, okay, now, if, like, you know, in their defense, if they were going to come at you, they'd be like, well, all your shit's edited. So yeah. if you did say it, we wouldn't know. True. But that's not with, like, every fucking thing? Yes. They could be like, well, Dr. Star Trek... Carlson probably says it out of regular... Yeah, or they could be like, well, they're like, well, friends, you know, you know, whatever, you know, it's edited, so they said the N-word a lot. Probably. <laughs> Chandler and Monica, they probably all said it. Every five seconds. Like, nah, dude, I was just gonna say, there's, like... There are a bunch of white people in an apartment. None. They're probably saying it every ten seconds. It's like, I challenge the motherfuckers to go through 20... One years of fucking crap video to try to find us saying the N word because you'll never I, find it. I, it doesn't fucking happen. I'm under the thing of like you know uh, you can be against it. Don't go looking for it. You know, like in the sense of like you could be against racism. You don't have to try to look for it in every fucking thing. You know, it's not in everything. And if you start looking for it and everything, all of a sudden everything to you is going to sound it. Well, you know? dude, if you look for, like, QAnon fucking conspiracy yeah, theories and everything, you're going to find everything. it. Yeah, yeah. so that pretty much can apply to a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's end this. How are you going to live? All right. <sighs> I think we ended on a high note.